Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video, and today I'm bringing you guys episode number four of Pack Squads. Uh, but before I start this video, I just want to quickly mention just some things that people have been concerned about in the comments, I guess. Uh, but first of all, people were saying how this series is moving very fast and how, you know, I already have an 85 plus overall team in Division 9, which is, I, I guess, defeats the whole purpose of, you know, struggling to get a good team. And I do agree with that statement, but at the same time, this is kind of the way I want this series to go in the beginning. And I know some people want that series where I grind out, like, Division 1 games and struggle to build a good team. But I knew from the start of making this series that, you know, it's April already. Uh, a lot of people have really good teams, and I knew that I wouldn't be able to compete in Division 1 with just a, you know, a normal silver or gold team. I would pretty much be losing every single game in, like, the first five or six episodes of Pack Squads, and that's not the way I want the series to start off, because it loses a lot of viewership. When people see a lost games, people get in uninterested in a series very quick. At least that's what I've seen with the previous videos I've made in the past, so... That's the reason why I want to start this series in Division 10 and kind of work my way up. But if you guys have watched this series, uh, Wheel of Fatoon, on uh, Spencer FC's channel, and I know many of you guys have never watched that series before, but I really like the way he uses superstar players in different squads to get to Division 1. So, for example, I would have an Austin Matthews team build, maybe a Leaf team build with different synergies, and then maybe build a different team around Patrick Kane and make him play with different players with different synergies. And I felt like with the old pack squads, I was limited in that way where uh, I, I was just adding in whatever players was the best ones, and I sometimes open up packs and will never be able to even use those players. Once we get to Division 4 and Division 3, you'll start to see some variance in the series, and I think you guys will really like it. So that is just my I thought my thoughts on Pack Squad so far. I know it's moving fast, but uh, it is going to be a lot more fun. Okay, so with that really long intro out of the way, I think it's about time to start up this episode, but right now we are on a 6 game win streak. Uh, we're trying to bring it up to a 7th and 8th one this episode, and honestly, the past 6 games haven't been that easy. I mean, there were two games in OT that I could have lost easily. Uh, there was a couple games as well where I just had to play really well defensively, and we were able to just squeak by with a win. So I think right now our six-game win streak is well-earned, and it's not like we're just blowing by people in Division 10 as well. But right now, we'll go through the lineups. First line, we got Miko Rantanen, Spezza, and Michael Bodker. On the second, we got Gallagher, Dubinsky, and Nick Bukestad. On the third, we got Jaden Schwartz, Dominic Moore, Devon Smith Pelly, and on the fourth we got Eero Pekarinen, uh, Ben Smith, as well as Justin Abdelkader. So our offense is looking pretty good. Our defense we got Keith Yandel, Colton Pareko, uh, Jason Demiers, Simon Despray, uh, Nicholas Cronwall, as well as Michael Roosevelt. So a lot of guys there to also complete some synergies. I think we have three synergies right now. We have the Unstoppable Force synergy, the Immovable Object synergy, and the Wrecking Crew synergy. So Having all those synergies active, we'll see how this team plays. We also have Mike Smith in net. He's going to have to hold down the fort for us. So let's see how this team plays in our first game of Pack Squads. I'll meet you guys in there. Alright guys, so first game here. We're facing an Ottawa fan. He's got Monaghan, Toffoli, and JVR on his first line. So not a bad lineup there. Maybe a foreshadow to me the Stanley Cup playoffs, the Ottawa versus Toronto matchup. But anyways, let's get this game going. Let's see if we can uh, score some goals. Here we go, pass the puck to Dubinsky, up to Gallagher. Tanev, beat by Tanev, deke him out, back to the defender. Slide, oh, what a tip, and that actually worked, and we score with, uh, I think that was Brandon Dubinsky with a nice little tip. I thought I would just get a low shot on net, and it actually got tipped there. So, one to nothing, only seven minutes in, and we score a goal. Here we go, 45 degree cuts. Get right by him, get right by him, swing it back. To Spezza, with a snipe, oh, missing just short side. Bodker, grab the puck, go on the outside, use the body. To Pareko, oh, nice shot, just not enough power on that one. Steal the puck, there we go, that's how I like to do it. Bodker, back to the defender, let's walk right in. Shoot, oh, Mrazic, big love save. Oh my goodness, Pareko puts it in his own net. I kind of knew that was going to happen after he just holding on to the puck right in front of the net. But, oh man, he ties it back up one to one. We got to get that goal back. Oh, 
Oh, squeaks by Mike Smith's 5-hole, and he makes it 2-1. So, I mean, these games are still pretty close. I mean, I mean, I, I think I thought I played pretty bad defensively there. We still need to get a gold back. But anyways, 2-1. Let's try to tie it back up. Careful. Pareko, last man there. There we go. Pass it right up through the middle to Bakker. He's got speed. Right by the defender once. Cut in. Oh, man, that was a close one. We had a little break there. Just could not tuck it by his goalie. There we go to Demirs. Cut right in. No, no. We don't have an open guy there. Come on, Demirs. Pick up the puck. Nice poke. Come on, grab the puck, Smith Pelly. Poke it again. Down low. Smith Pelly, our power forward here. Careful. He's got definitely a tight point on with a high pressure. There you go. In front. There it is. More. How did he miss that? Pick up the puck. Where's our AI going? There we go. We have the puck. Careful. Careful. Shoot. Oh, I'm missing the net by a little bit. Come on, pick up the puck. There it is. Shoot. Grab the puck. Schwartz. Back to the point. Back to Schwartz. In front. That's going in. And Schwartz scores us a goal. That was a pretty um, good offensive pressure there. We make it 2-2. Two two. That was a nice little goal by Schwartz. So, there we go. We tie it back up. Let's try to get another one. Oh my goodness, a tip on net. I think this guy's gotten like 7 or 8 shots on net. And he scores the third one. Mike Smith, not holding down the forward at all. But 3-2, to two, he's now leading in the third period. We gotta get that goal back. Oh, Roosevelt, come on, you can catch him. Catch him, there you go. Don't let him shoot! Oh, Mike Smith. Letting in another one. Patrick Hornf is scoring another one. So he makes it 4-2. We are down by 2 now. Oh man, we got to catch back up. We just need one quick one. And we'll be back in it. I mean, I thought we were playing well defensively there. Just, man, we cannot get the pokes. Alright guys, that is our first loss of this series. Which is unfortunate. But I just cannot score the goal for the life of me. I was just missing the net. Uh, I had a lot of time on attack just... Couldn't generate any offense there. Take a look at the stats as well. 21 to 13 in shots. Almost 14 minutes time on attack to 3 minutes. But, I don't know. He got some timely goals which just made him pull away. And just like that, he wins the game. Dion Phaneuf, Ryan O'Reilly, and Patrick Hornfist all getting 3 stars. I thought that Mike Smith played a really weak game. He should have made at least 1 or 2 of those saves. But, anyways, uh, we have the restart streak. We don't get to buy a pack. So, we're going to go ahead and pretty much start our next game. Alright, so we're going to quickly go through the starting lineups before we go into the next game. But I did move around some of the players. You can see right now we put in Nick Bukestad with Jason Spezza. I think those two right-handed players that are both big will be a nice complement to Michael Bodker. So we'll try that out. Uh, also, Miko Rantanen, I think that uh, also is a nice replacement for Bukestad because he can't carry the puck on a relatively slow line with Brandon Dubinsky and Brandon Gallagher. Uh, no changes with the third or fourth line, but going on to the defense, we did move up Jason Demers, trying to get that Florida connection going because I felt like Colton Pareko was not that spectacular last game. He let in a lot of uh, good great age scoring chances, so I decided to move him with Nicholas Cronwall. And uh, Simon Desprey is now playing alongside with uh, Michael Rosevall. So that's pretty much how our lineups are looking into the next game. Uh, let's start it up. I'll meet you guys in there. Alright guys, so we got a Toronto vs. Toronto matchup here. That's going to be pretty interesting. He's got a Nicholas Backstrom as a center guy. So a pretty good centerman. And it's really laggy. Oh man, got to be careful for the lag. That usually throws off my game. But let's get it going. Let's see what we can do. Oh, oh! he passed it up to me. Bodker passed to Abdul Kader. Shoot it! And we rip it uh, on glove side there, making it one to nothing. Nice pass by Bodker. I don't know why he's playing with Abdul Kader there, but nevertheless, one to nothing. Let's keep it up. Nice. To Smith Pelly. Come on, grab the puck. Oh, shoot it on net! Oh, how'd you fan on it more? Demirs, pass it back down low to Moore. Careful, don't get tied up there to Smith. Smith Pelly. Back around to Schwartz. Back to the point. Other point. Gandel. Oh, good shot on net. Just no one in front to tip it. Oh my goodness. And Monaghan squeaks one by. 
Oh, this is frustrating. Man, 1-1 one one now. Second period. I do not want this guy to get another lead here. Come on. We gotta play better. Oh, Bukestad, go. He's got the speed. He's got the length. Stick length. Double backhand and roofs it blocker side on uh, Jacob Markstrom there. Making it 2-1. to one. There we go. We answer right back, which is really nice, but... There we go. We still gotta play well. Two to one. Only three minutes left in the second. There we go. I think Smith Pelly's got it. Oh my goodness. I'm playing terrible defense. He makes it two to two. I think that was with Michael Grabner. I don't know. I'm just playing terrible right now. Alright. Ten minutes left in the third period. We gotta catch back up. Come on, Bodker. Get right by the defender. There you go. Skate. Back to the point. Back to the other point. Demirs. Shoot it on net. We got three guys in front. Careful. In front. Bukestad keep the puck in. Bodker. Pass it to Bukestad. Alright. Come on. We can generate a play here. To Yandel. Where's my other defender? There he is. Pareko. Walk in. Oh. Just shooting it right at him. Are you serious? No way. There is no way. Yandel got beat right there. Oh my goodness, there's our second loss of the game, or uh, of the episode. I have no words for that. I can't believe I gave up that goal. We had so much time on attack. I thought I got the pokes there a few times. Johnny Gujo just cannot poke the puck off him. He makes it 3-2. to two. Oh man, after saying that whole spiel about, you know, getting the win streaks and opening up lots of packs, we get two losses in a row, which is... Oh man, I, I can't even... Describe the words how angry I am about that. But 2-2 two to two in Division 9. What are the stats here? 28-11 to 11 shots. 12 minutes time to 4 minutes. Oh my goodness. Mike Smith couldn't do anything about that last goal. But still. Oh man. A couple of squeakers got by. And once again we lose the game. Alright guys. I'm going to wrap up the episode here. I still can't believe I, like, I gave up that final second goal. I'm still so heated after that. Also losing two games in this. Like I almost don't want to post this video because... It's almost unacceptable in Division 9. But anyways, we have to play better in the next episode. We're going to try to get some wins. But also let me know some new line combinations you would like to see. Or any of the new players that I got from PAX. Because I, I really want to change up the lineups a bit. It just I don't feel like it's good enough. It's not fast. It's not dangerous enough. I don't, I don't know what's with it. But uh, let me know in the comments some new line suggestions. But that's about it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh my goodness! We did it! The 25 key bag kicks off and he got the 98 overall. Jamie Zen. Look at that. Oh, and we can get another player to do.